So first of all, good afternoon and welcome to the 2017 New Haven Preservation Trust Awards. I'm Bruce Peabody, President of the Preservation Trust Board of Directors, and I'm pleased to have you all here today as the Trust, give, trust gives out four separate awards. Uh, our House Preservation Award, our Merit Plaque, our Landmark Plaque, and for the first time in many years, the Margaret Flint Award. Since 1973, May has been celebrated throughout the country as Preservation Month. And so the giving of these awards is one of the Preservation Trust ways to observe the importance of historic preservation in New Haven. I also welcome the Preservation Trust officers, directors, members, and supporters who are here today to celebrate the city's architectural heritage, as well as the owners and the developers of the properties being honored today. The Preservation Trust was founded in 1961 and is a member-run organization supported by membership, donations, sponsors, and the state of Connecticut. The mission of the Preservation Trust is to honor and preserve New Haven's architectural heritage, archite historic buildings and neighborhoods through advocacy, education, and collaboration. Our goal and our vision for ourselves is that we are to be the organization known for igniting pride in our city's architecture and turned to for leading the preservation of our city's buildings and, and built spaces. This year's award winners were selected to highlight exemplary acts of leadership in historic preservation and to celebrate the determination of those who preserve New Haven's architecture and neighborhoods. The buildings, honor, buildings honored are representative of similar undertakings all over New Haven, but were specifically chosen today because of their exceptional quality. I therefore turn to Duo Dickinson of the Preservation Trust's subcommittee, which has been working on these awards for our presentation today. Duo? Thanks, Bruce, and welcome. Welcome to all of you, because actually your dedication to architecture and history has made this event possible. Obviously, the first people that built all those buildings you loved are maybe more responsible even than you, but the truth is, without you, this event cannot happen. And I wanna personally say how much that means to me. And this year's award also means a lot to me because this year's award takes a fundamental need of all humanity, which is, where do you live? What is your shelter? And it is, this year's awards program is really called At Home With History, Living In New Haven. You know, everybody has a home. It's perhaps the most essential type of building that there is. And New Haven in particular has an incredible array and history of housing stock of every type and style. You know, throughout history, private residences are often a source of pride no matter what their budget is. There's always been shared accommodations, typically often for people of similar means, but also for, for people of modest means or elderly people. But now, Right now, there is actually a resurgence of building places to live in New Haven. And it's almost a boom. And it also forced us at the New Haven Preservation Trust to look at what is the history of where people live in New Haven. And thus, these awards represent a wide variety of different buildings, uh, in including a, a modernist residential colleges, including a perfectly sized and preserved house on City Point, a wonderful, almost legacy home in, a, in an established neighborhood in New Haven, and also a real hero of neighborhood and single family residential preservation. They're all honored this year, but I want to honor the members of our committee, starting of course with John Herzan, our preservation officer, who will also be here. But also, I think they're all here, Peg Chambers, Channing Harris, and Karen Crotchmall, who all work diligently in this project. <laughs> so without further ado, ado, I'd like to present first the New Haven Preservation Trust House Preservation Award. And I will read you the citation. For houses as outstanding representatives of their period, they exhibit much of their original character and condition by virtue of continued appropriate maintenance or sensitive rehabilitation. And the first house is the Sargent House. And we, we dubbed this 
invigorating perfection, the restoration of the Sargent House. Built in 1912 for the female offspring of a great New Haven family, Laura Sargent of Sargent Hardware, and it was designed by a leading society architect, Henry Murphy of Murphy and Dana. This casually majestic home has been fully restored and updated. I went, walked through it, it is immaculate. And, and Betsy and Len Brower, who did the work along with George Knight, did the house proud. They, they took the essence of the house and made it literally in the 21st century. Rather than reinvent and change its 2000, this 2006 restoration, return features and finishes to their original condition including the kitchen, the downstairs bath, and all the possessions that the owners had. They were all fully accommodated and also, as you might expect, the full technological reintegration into the 21st century of this 1912 home. So I would love to bring up here Betsy and Len Grauer to receive their award from John Hersey. Now the next, the next award is, again, one of our typical three awards given out every year. And this is the NHPT Merit Plaque. This is for, and I'll again quote, for historic buildings that have been authentically restored or sensitively rehabilitated for adaptive reuse. Well, this isn't so much adaptive. This really is its original purpose. This is, award is given really for the dedicated stewardship of an 1871 Oyster Woman's Italianate Pearl, the Lane Hubbard House. It's one of the oldest and least altered of those houses on City Point. It's small, it's well designed, and it's a typical home for the working family in the post-Civil War era when houses were being built all over New Haven. The current owner's dedication to research and deep devotion to the home, valuing renovation and uh, facilitated many, many discoveries and, and cared actually for the historic in in integrity in every single detail. And the story can now be told of each of these small houses that were all built in those decades after, after the Civil War, including things that we now take for granted like running water, piped gas, wires and electricity. Those are all retrofitted into the home and then lovingly accommodated, restored, and recognized by the new by the new owner. To see these authentic materials and the age-appropriate appearance of this well-cared-for gem is to virtually step into the past. And it's an incredible project with enormous courage and hope for the future in a neighborhood that I think really appreciates its presence. And receiving the award is Chris Schaefer. This is typically the highest honor we can bestow on an existing building that's been sensitively renovated and repurposed, brought into the world, and follows through on a almost decade-long aspect of what the, Nat the New Haven Preservation Trust does, which is celebrate modernist architecture as the classic form of building that needs to be maintained or it will be lost forever. And this year, it, it has the same quote it has every year, which is, for buildings, or sites of outstanding and enduring architectural and historical influence, significance. And we just dubbed this one, Renewing an Iconic Presence. And I'll just read, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good read. The strength of form and detailing of Eero Saarinen's original 1962 design for Morrison Stiles Residential Colleges at Yale is clearly apparent in the renovated work completed here by the architects Kiernan Timberlake in 2011. Saarinen's repeated modules reflect the building's functionality, each playing one another to form the rise and fall of the building and the site. It's actually, if I'm not mistaken, Peg Chambers is here, but it has almost a medieval basis for its modularity and its kind of rolling aspects. Uh, 
In this restorative renovation by Morrison Styles, architect Stephen Kiernan sensitively underscores Saarinen's intent. The essence of the building, buildings are supplemented, given relevance to Eero's sense of poetic wonder and architectural form, an enormous functional enhancement with almost no visual change from the outside except now they look new. And I can tell you that it, it is, I, I took a tour of that, one of our NHPT tours, and to see this level of craftsmanship applied to a modernist building is literally thrilling. Receiving the award this year is Deb Hawley, Associate VP of Finances. way for New Haven and this awards program the most and most significantly is the Margaret Flint Award, an award we haven't given out for at least a decade, and it really boils down to recognizing a group, but really more than that. It's really recognizing the spirit, the spirit of urban America, where for perhaps a century the idea of living in the city was left to the very rich and the very poor and everything in between with the advent of the federal highway system went fallow or worse, and especially in New Haven where urban renewal often took neighborhoods and bulldozed them under. Here, we're able to recognize a group that has, for a very long time, done very good work for very many people in New Haven, constituting not only the renovation of architecture, but of communities. And as such, this award recognizes not only this group, but the genuine human desire, not only to save our homes, but our cities. So we call this breathing new life, well, breathing new life into New Haven's abandoned neighborhoods. And I will, did I, I read the quote, I didn't read the quote, so I'm gonna read the quote. <laughs> Given to an organization or individual whose support of preservation in the city of New Haven has contributed to the integrity of the community, the, pr pr the protection of its historic structures, and an appreciation of its history. This is being given to Neighborhood Housing Services. It was founded in 1979 under the leadership of Jim Paley, and it has worked diligently to acquire New Haven's houses and transform them into affordable and energy efficient homes. And for 37 years, uh, New Neighborhood Housing Services has renovated and sold more than 275 houses. Just breathe that and think about that for a while. Often located in New Haven's partially abandoned historic neighborhoods. And rather than bulldoze them <coughs> or wreck them, they renewed them and celebrated them and created and enhanced communities while they did this. This year, the New Haven Preservation Trust is pleased to present its most prestigious prize, the Margaret Flint Award to Neighborhood Housing Services in recognition of their long-standing commitment to historic preservation and thoughtful support of New Haven's housing stock. Receiving the award is Henry Dina from John Hurst. This work is easy to be passionate about. My family has been in New Haven since around 1900. We've watched the city's fortunes rise and fall many times. In fact, this gentleman here was our tenant when I was growing up. <laughs> and I watched this city hall fall into ruin and be reconstructed. Um, credit for this work goes in the large part to the vision and persistence of our executive director, Jim Paley, who is unable to be with us today. But also there's a number of staff from Neighborhood Housing Services with us. Staff, raise your hands. <laughs> this is definitely a team work. It takes a team work, an effort every day of the week. And also one of our contractors I see in the audience, Peter DeLeo who is the man who does it. Thank you, Peter. And 
thank you, New Haven Preservation Trust, for being a partner with us in this work, probably since the beginning of Neighborhood Housing Services. The neighborhood, the New Haven Preservation Trust has been a reliable source of information, support, technical advice, and we greatly treasure your organization. Thank you again on behalf of Neighborhood Housing Services. While May is a month of special celebration for the Preservation Trust, we continue to advocate, educate, and collaborate in the cause of New Haven's historic built environment throughout the entire year. We serve property owners, architects, and developers in all city neighborhoods and provide professional and technical help to organizations and individuals at no cost. Uh, as Henry Dina has said, to have partners in the community is such an important part of what we do and we are so lucky that we're able to work with the other organizations in the city with a similar viewpoint as we have. Uh, the Preservation Trust staff responds to approximately 250 inquiries annually about historic status, preservation standards, and best practices of rehabilitation. We welcome a cumulative annual attendance of about 1,200 at our lectures, walking tours, home te homeowner tax credit workshops, annual meeting, and other events. So in a time of tight finances, the Preservation Trust is here to help keep the structures from New Haven's past indeed living components of our current life and development. In a time of continued new building and renewal, it is important that the Trust's work continue so that these important projects are respectful of the past and add to our present and future in New Haven. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you will take time to come up, look at the pictures, look at the placards, talk to the owners, thank them for all the hard work they've done because each and every component has really made a difference to New Haven. Thank you.